Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my November book haul. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit short and sweet because there are a few books and the second reason is mainly because I like to kind of go in not knowing a lot about these books and experience it for all that it's worth. So I don't want to know a lot going in and so if you do want more information on any of these there will be links below uh, to Amazon. If you guys do purchase through those links I do receive a small commission and that is part of supporting this channel so that would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, most of these were sent to me. If not, I will let you guys know. Um, the first ones that I want to talk about are all from Booksparks. It's from their holiday bookgram kind of thing. I did an unboxing recently, so that will be linked below if you guys missed out on that. And these are really awesome. I think it's such a great deal, perfect for the holidays. You get three books for $20. You go to their site, you uh, which I will leave linked below, and then you just go ahead and purchase. You pick a genre, and they do the wrapping and the shipping and all of that good stuff. So it's just amazing. And the first one that was in my little bookgram was the Saturday Evening Girls Club, which I actually already own and haven't read yet. So definitely keep your eye out. I will be doing a giveaway and some kind of unhauls somewhere down the line. The next one that was in that bookgram is This Is Not The End by Chandler Baker. Haven't really heard a lot about this or seen it, and so I'm just excited for it. It sounds pretty great. I did read the back on that one. The other one um, that came was one that I have seen, and I've had friends read and rave about it. It is called The Goddesses by Swan Huntley, so I'm really, really excited. This is probably the one that I was most excited for in the whole box and just can't wait to get to. So there is that. Then I was sent A Good Country and I'm not even sure how to pronounce this name. I know I will butcher it, so I'm just not going to say it. And it's just getting a lot of really great reviews from a lot of amazing uh, review sources and different publications and whatnot. And so this one is just supposed to be like one of the best books, I believe, of like 2017. So I'm just excited to have a copy in my hands to get to it, to read it, see what all this hype is about. So looking forward to that. Then there's a book that I picked up myself at a brand new bookstore that just opened up like literally 10 minutes from my house. I'm so excited because there wasn't a bookstore on this side of town and it's amazing. It was literally 60% off of the cover price. So I believe this only ended up costing me like $10 and it is Perfect Days by Raphael Montes, I believe. Um, and I've heard so many good things about this and just how... Like it's, um, I don't know if it's more thriller or suspenseful or kind of however this kind of works out, but I think I've had a lot of friends that have similar tastes reading this and saying how much they loved it and it came highly recommended. It's been on my list for a very long time. So when I saw it at that store, I could not pass this by and snatched it up. So hopefully I will get to this soon because I really, really want to read it. And then my mother-in-law, if you guys are new to this channel and don't know, we like to read the Janet um, Ivanovich books, uh, the Stephanie Plum series, and it is really long and drawn out and very repetitive, but they are so hilarious and entertaining and so much fun to read. And she bought me the brand new one of Hardcore 24, so I'm so excited just to dive back into this world. Um, Stephanie just cracks me up. Her assistant cracks me up, her grandma cracks me up, the little love triangle that's going on, like it's just hilarious and a really good entertaining read. So always love to dive into these nice easy reads every so often, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, a couple others that were sent to me is Secrets of a Cavadon by Barbara Taylor Bradford. This is I believe like third in the series and I haven't read any of the others but I'm definitely going to now because I'm so intrigued by the sounds of this one. A little bit more of a historical romance possibly kind of fiction read and I just think the cover is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it right now and can't wait to dive into it. Then we have Christmas in London by Anita Hughes which I just posted about now that all my Christmas decor is out and I can't wait to dive in. I absolutely love London. I've been there twice and I've been telling my husband lately so it's kind of funny that this arrived that the next time I wanted to go to London was going to be in the winter time so this is definitely going to fill that little need that I have and want to go and it's definitely going to give me that travel bug and I'm really going to want to go after this but I'm glad that I'll be able to kind of live through this and it sounds like such a fun read, um, perfect for the holidays so I love getting to read those. If you guys know my Haven Point series is generally themed around Christmas time and I love them so much. There's also a giveaway coming for a little something in the Haven Point series so definitely stay tuned for that. 
Then I was sent Rest Haven by Eric Thermy, Therm, Therms, I'm sorry, I'm not sure quite how to say this one, but this sounds like a little bit more of a YA kind of like suspense um, mystery kind of thing going on, and I really think it sounds pretty great, and I'm looking forward to it, something um, a little bit, you know, just kind of toned down from some of the more intense things I've read, just to kind of see how this all goes, and it sounds really intriguing, basically because this last little line here says that she like walks into this abandoned retirement home only to discover that the front doors are now padlocked and her friends are nowhere to be found. So I would be freaking out. So I definitely want to know what is happening, what goes on, and how she gets out if she does, hopefully. So there's that. Another book that was sent to me is In a Time Never Known by Kat Michaels. This is another historical kind of read. It sounds like it's going to have some amazing strong women, which I always love to read about. So I'm just so excited and so thrilled to have this in my hands. Thank you so much to Kat for sending this my way. It also came um, with some really adorable little rose socks. And she had mentioned that it's going to tie into the story. So I'm just so excited and just ready for winter to be here so I can curl up by the fire, have a nice warm cup of tea or hot chocolate, and just dive into some of these amazing reads. All right, so the next one, which also has a gorgeous cover and that I'm really looking forward to, is Before I Let You Go by Kelly Rimmer. I think this sounds really great, but also very emotional and heartbreaking. And so I'm a little bit hesitant to kind of dive into this one, but... I think it's just going to be awesome because it's also got some really good reviews on the back from some authors that I really enjoy. So I feel like if I, you know, kind of enjoyed and loved their writing, that if they're recommending this, I will love this too. And so, like I said, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be a heartbreak. I'm definitely, you know, maybe I should read my like Stephanie Plum after this because I'm going to need something lighthearted and happy after this because I definitely think it's going to be just, just packed full of emotions with what it kind of what I've read about this and I have shared this on my bookstagram so if you guys again are looking for more information it'll be linked there as well as the Amazon link below so that's that one another YA and I believe this is the first in a trilogy which I was so excited a beautiful cover and I've seen it around a lot so I was just over the moon to see it show up on my door it is called Select and it is by Merritt Weisenberg I believe and this one sounds, I don't know if it's a little bit more like dystopic, but I kind of get the vibes of like the giver kind of deal. Um, and then it says, it has always been a fact of life that we were biologically different, better, and that is, and that it had to be kept secret. So I'm so intrigued just by this original storyline. And again, I love the cover and the author herself is so sweet as well. So loving this and can't wait to dive in. Like I said, there's so many good reads and I don't even know where to start. Don't even know. And then this last one is by Reese Bowen, which I have read a book by her. It was on Farley Field. It was a World War II. I really liked it. Um, wasn't my total favorite World War II like book, but I did enjoy it. And so this one is called The Tuscan Child. Again, this is another World War II, I believe, or just after World War II. Yes, it's kind of, it says it's like nearly 30 late, 30 years later, Hugo's estranged daughter. Joanna has returned home to the English countryside to arrange her father's funeral. Among his personal effects is an unopened letter addressed to Sophia. It is a startling revelation. So I think this is really cool that it's more of a modern day and then pieces kind of fall into place that take her back into the original storyline back in World War II. So again, I'm always obsessed with World War II and historical fiction, and so I think this one is so up my alley and just really, really excited to dive into this as well. I think um, that Little Bird just totally knows me between my romances and my women's fiction and my historical fiction. They've got me covered, and so thank you guys so much for sending this my way. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've got lots of really great reads. I'm so excited. I haven't been reading as much lately, which is a little bit sad. And so if you guys have watched some of the past videos, you guys kind of knew that I got really sick, um, and certain things kind of came up and then life, you know, so I wasn't reading a whole lot, but now that things are kind of calming down a little, um, I've had more time to read. I was definitely impressed. I started this month out so strong and then kind of fell off the bandwagon the last, like, week and a half or so, so I didn't finish the last book that I had started this month, which is kind of a bummer, 
but I will be sharing my wrap up and TBR with you guys just as soon as I can. So I hope you guys will stay tuned. Subscribe for that one and definitely leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the um, book haul. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.